and no more than 72.5 maximum for any single athlete. So in lane one, Belarus, Artur Yazyukevich and Yahuni Zeliapun. Lane two, Czechs, Jan Vetežnik and Ondrej Vetežnik. Lane three, former world champion Jolf Scherling and Tamas Varga seem to be on a comeback, finished winners of the B final in Munich in seventh place overall. Next to them, the silver medalists from the World Championships, Dimitrios Mugios and Vizileos Polimeros, who, of course, took a bronze medal for Greece also in the Olympic Games in Athens. In lane five, we have Brice Menet and Pierre-Etienne Pollet of France. And for Germany in lane six, Moritz Koch and Christoph Schregel. Very young as well, young as they look. They're properly aligned. And a clean start all round, although I thought rather slow off the start for Dimitrios Mugios and Vasileos Polimeros of Greece. We've seen lightweight women, double skull from Greece take a gold medal. We've seen the open weight men from Greece take a gold medal. What will we see from these two? who are five places ahead in the world rankings um, of their nearest rivals in this race, Herling and Varga of Hungary. Helling and Varga, winners in 2005 in Gifu. So they have form two. This is uh, Chemnitz of Poland. Magdalena Chemnitz, uh, 20 three years old, and on her left, Ilona Mokronowska, 35 years old, winners of medals there in the women's lightweight skulls. But here we go back to the men's lightweight double skulls, and at 500 meters, it looked to me like it was Hungary first through the line. That's them on the right of your picture, in lane three, and they are indeed leading. That's Herling and Varga, world champions in 2005. Seventh in Munich. They are leading Greece, Mugios, and Polymeros in lane four. Germany there, their blades entering the water. That's Moritz Koch in the bows, far away from your picture, and Christoph Schregel closest to camera in the stroke seat there. Erling and Varga. Varga in the stroke seat on the left of your picture, the taller, the blonder of the two. He's racing 38 strokes per minute, which is exactly what the Greeks were doing in the women's double skulls at this stage in the race preceding. These two were rather disappointed by their European, uh, their World Cup form this summer and also by their World Championship result. They certainly thought they had more in them for this season, so they probably come here to try and salvage some of their expectations. Georges Thierling in the bow seat is a traffic engineer, so he should be able to find his way out of this particular confusion. So as we pass through a thousand meters, was indeed Hungary in first place, 1.7 seconds up on Greece and 2.4 seconds up on the Czech Republic. That's Jan and Andrei Vetežnik in the Czech Republic double skull. 
and they, like Greece, have a strong hand in sculling light and heavy men and women. Hungary, still the higher cadence of the two. That's Greece in picture there. Mugios on the right of your picture. Polymeros on the left. Azuleos Polymeros with, of course, the bronze medal from the Athens Olympics. And now 31 years of age. So he's uh, been around the circuit a couple of times. He did try it in a single. Didn't really make it and of course there is no men's lightweight single skulls in the Olympics so if you want to go to Beijing or on to London next you better find a doubles partner or you're gonna have a disappointing time France in lane five, Brice Menet and Pierre-Etienne Paulet earlier on on picture. So Hungary now 2.68, they've been increasing their lead. It was 0.3 of a second over Greece, then 1.17 of a second at 1,000 metres, now 2.68. So Hungary taking a little bit in every quarter. Last quarter, all to play for. The gap between the Czech Republic in bronze medal and Germany in fourth place is now four seconds, four and a half seconds. So there is no race on at present for bronze medal. These two going for gold, leading the world championship silver medalists comfortably, it seems to me, higher rate of striking, altogether sharper, quicker, faster. These two finding it very difficult Dimitrios Mugios and Vesaleos Polymeros finding it very difficult to peak again in the season. You time your training, you time the super compensation strategy, you time everything for a minor peak in the World Cups through the summer and a major peak at the World Championships. If you've got a national trials to pass as well, then you've got another peak. So to come back a month later, three and a half weeks later, and turn all this into gold is very hard to do indeed and it is indeed seventh place from Munich leading second place from the world champions into the line in this European Championships in Poznan in Poland. Hear the drum beat of the international sound as they come to the line. It will be Hungary first, it will be Greece second and on the far side Czech Republic in bronze medal position now with France in fourth, Germany in fifth, and Belarus hardly mentioned at all in this commentary in sixth place on the far side. We'll go straight. Oh, this is not a straight to a medal ceremony. We will next be going to a medal ceremony after we have digested that substantial return to form for Georges Terling and Thomas Varga. World champions in 2005, and now back on the medal rostrum in a big way. Greece on the medal rostrum a month ago, back on in the same place, silver. And Czech Republic, Petitnik and Petitnik didn't make the B or A final, the top 12 in Munich, but made a bronze medal here. France, a new crew, Germany, a new crew.